Hey guys, so I am back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys this makeup look. I am actually loving how this turned out. I am just feeling so fabulous and I'm so upset that I can't go anywhere, you know, special. But I do love how this look turned out. Um, I did use only one palette. I used the Morphe Fierce by Nature palette if you guys have this palette. Um, if not, you can pull this look off with any other neutral palette that you may have and like a pop of color from another palette. I can pretty much got a, I, I pretty much have a bunch of palettes that I could have created this look with. But I wanted to use this one because I guess I just got it and I wanted to put it to work. Um, and I pretty much use mostly affordable products for this look for the most part. You guys know my looks are really simple, easy to follow, easy to understand, nothing too crazy. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I don't want this intro to be too long. If you guys are interested in the earrings, check them out. They are on my site along with my mango butter and my goat milk soap, which I do have a new shea butter soap coming out very soon. I'm um, just kind of finishing up on the recipe a little bit and then it'll be available to you guys. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Okay guys, so first I'm going to be starting off applying the Juvia's Place Concealer. I believe this is in the shade 11 to prime my eyelids and I just use a brush to blend it out as well. Oh no, I use my beauty blender. Excuse me. <laughs> Next, I go in with some translucent powder just to set that concealer. You don't have to do this step, but I did. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Usually when I'm doing a matte look, I do usually set um, the concealer. So the first shade that I'm gonna be going into from that palette is the shade Disrupt. And I'm just gonna apply that to my transition. You guys know how I feel about colors like this. Like, they're just... It's just bomb, so I'm going to go in with that to start off this eye look. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Stamina and just apply that to the outer V and slightly bring it up and work it in just a little bit, not too much. Um, but I do go back and reapply this um, after I cut my key crease and everything. But I just go in and apply that to the outer V and just make sure I keep blending so that everything is nice and seamless. Next I'm going to be going in and cutting my crease with that same concealer and I'm just going to do my usual cut crease hack. You guys see me do it before um, and I just blend that out with a flat synthetic brush and just make it nice and smooth. I kind of wanted this to be a really not defined cut crease but I really wanted the separation from the shade that I'm going to put on my lid from the shade, shades that I applied before. So now I'm going back in with that shade Stamina and just blending that black back in on that outer edge just so that it actually, you can actually see it. Once I cut my crease, it kind of got lost. So I just reapplied that to that outer V and just blended it up and slightly in like on the outer fourth of my lid. For my lid shade, I'm going to be going in with the shade Trans, which is the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm just going to be using that to apply to my eyelid. And one thing I always like mess up and do is sometimes I end up using the same brush that I use to blend out my concealer on my lid and then using that same brush to apply the color which I shouldn't really be doing that I should be using a different brush because sometimes it ends up creasing um, which is kind of what I did here it didn't end up creasing it kind of held its weight but 
I know that I really shouldn't be doing that so make sure you guys are using a dry brush when you are picking up these matte shadows um, like my brush was matte but I if you guys see I did change brush brushes because I did see that it was gonna start creasing so I had changed brushes to a dry brush to just check myself real quick I'm gonna go in and line my eyes. I am using the Juvia's Place gel liner to wing out my eyes. I don't always apply tape, but this was like one of those days where I just didn't want any fuck ups. So your girl applied tapes because I just did not have time to be redoing any makeup looks today. So I went in and just applied my wing liner. And just a heads up guys, I don't actually know what happened to the foundation part of this video so you guys do not see me apply my foundation. Um, but these are the lashes that I'm going to be wearing. These are from Lavish Lux Lash Lashes in Iris and I applied those on off camera. Next I'm going to go in with the shade Unstoppable from that same palette and apply that to my lower lash line. Um, as you guys can see, my pretty much my complexion is for the most part done. Um, so yeah, I just go in and apply that on the lash line just to give it a nice little pop of color. And these lashes really tied this look together, guys. These lashes are bomb. If you guys can still get them, I will have her Instagram down below so you guys can check them out. Next, I'm going to go in with some blush. This is, I went in with a little bit of Unstoppable from that same palette and applied it to my cheeks just because I wanted everything to be a little cohesive. I tend to like doing this a lot when I add pops of color. I just end up using the same shadows that I use in my, on my eyes, on my cheeks as well because it usually ends up working out very well as this did. And then I set my face with my Morphe Mattifying Setting Spray, which I love, by the way. It's my first time ever trying it, but I really, really have been loving it since this video. Next, I'm going to go in with the MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and applying it to my lips. Um, I did apply a little bit of Inner Tear Duct. I used the Juvia's Place Volume 2 Tribe Highlighter. Um, just so you guys know, that's the what's in my Inner Tear Duct. And then I went in with, I believe this is Shame from Urban Decay. It's one of their like revolution lipsticks that they came out with a long time ago, but I have not used it in a very long time. Actually, I don't think I've ever used it. I just was collecting them um, and I actually put it on. This is Shame. I actually really love this color. It really brought the look together. And then I went in with a little bit of my lip gloss from Honey. Uh, or my found lip gloss, I believe this is like their peppermint, just clear lip gloss. And I just apply that over top just to give my lips a little glossiness. Like you guys know I don't usually do glossy lips, but I've been feeling them a lot lately. And that is pretty much the entire look guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the eye look. It was super pretty. I really enjoyed this look and you guys loved my pictures on Instagram of this look. I do have a tutorial on this here which will be linked in the cards and I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!